our studio audience are here to play some of your favorite games in a whole new way. Bop it! Yahtzee! Monopoly! Jenga! And Battleship! The games are bigger, the moments are priceless, and one lucky family might just leave here tonight with a brand new car! Right here on Family Game Night! And now, here's your host, Todd Newton! Thank you for being here. Welcome to Family Game Nights. And tonight, oh, you picked a great night to tune in because we got a bunch of great new games for you. And every contestant that you're going to meet on this stage is going to be picked right out of our audience here in Hollywood. Oh, boy. And one of those lucky families is going to get to play our Monopoly Crazy Cash game. That's going to happen later on in the show towards the end. And it's where they're going to have the chance to win a brand new car. I'll tell you that. Let's get to it. I want two families to join me for Moffitt. And it shall be Morgan and Vicky. It's your turn to play. And we need another family. Kayla and Mario. It's your turn to play. All right. Welcome, guys. I can tell Morgan's excited because the way she smiles is just an open mouth. Like, ah! Now it's your turn to play. Yeah. Oh, I know. Look at Mom. She's more excited than me. Hi, Kayla. Hi. And who's this guy next to you here? My dad. Yeah? Is he an, is he an all right guy? Yeah. yeah. Hey, guys, would you like to play Bop It with me? Yeah. Come on back here. All right. You're going to get 30 seconds to complete as many of these Bop It commands as possible. They are honk it. We have crash it. New this season is lift it. We have chop it. Here's pull it. Squeeze it. Another new one for you. Dunk it. And everybody's favorite, bop it. There it is. Now, you're going to hear a command. You complete it, and then you'll hear another command. Go as fast as you can until your time runs out. The team that can complete the most commands wins the game and a slam dunk night which my buddy Andrew will tell you about later on, okay? Morgan, you're going to go first. Right up there, 30 seconds in the bop to go. Get the feel. Find your center. All right. Your time starts with your first command. Good luck. Lift it. <laughs> Dunk it. Young Kayla, get on up there. 30 seconds. Here comes your first command now. Squeeze it. Chop it. Honk it. Lift it. Honk it. Honk it. Chop it. Honk it. You got 12 on that one. Very good. Very good. Another half a second. You would have had that one. All right. Tell you what, we got a close game. I like this game when it's nice and close because then it comes down to the parents. Oh, that's nice. All right, Vicky, come on. You are happy dancing all over the stage up there. Now you're going to do it in the Bop to God. 30 seconds. Here comes your first command. Good luck. Pull it. Pull it. Chop it. Chop it. Crash it. Pull it. Crash it. Bop it. Pull it. Honk it. Bop it. Honk it. Pull it. All right, you got it in there. Total of 25. 
good. It's fun, isn't it? <laughs> All right, Mario, let's see what we got here. You need 13 to tie it up, 14 to win this game. Mario's ready. Come on, Mario. 30 seconds on the clock. Here we go. Bop it. Chop it. Squeeze it. Crash it. Lift it. Chop it. Chop it. Squeeze it. Bop it. Bop it. Chop it. Bop it. Dunk it. Chop it. One more to win. There you go. You got it. What a win. A wow. Mario. Never done any boxing or anything like that? Oh, no, I haven't. Because your feet did not stop the whole time. He was up there floating <laughs> like a butterfly, and you guys did great. And for doing so well in the Boptagon, Andrew's got something for you. Thanks, Todd. Enjoy dinner on us. Get there in style with a limousine ride. Then, continue the fun with the world-famous Harlem Globetrotters Live and meet the team. The Globetrotters are known for their ball-handling wizardry, basketball artistry, and one-of-a-kind family entertainment that continues to thrill fans of all ages. You guys did great. Congratulations if you enjoy that. Nice to meet you. Morgan and Vicky, you guys play the heck of a game. I tell you what, just for being here with us today, a little something for you out of my pocket, a $100 bill. You enjoy that, okay? All right. Morgan and Kayla, if you ladies would come right up there. You each are going to select a combination from Mr. Monopoly. Now, one of these combinations, guys, is going to open this community chest. At the end of the show, we'll see which one it is. That's the family that goes to the crazy cash machine. Go right ahead. And Kayla has selected blue, orange, green. A fine selection. Hold on to that to the end of the show. Your turn. And Morgan has selected green, blue, red. You hold on to this along with your $100 bill. All right. Great way to start the show. Take a little break. When we come back family game night style, we're going to play Yahtzee family game night style right after this. You. Welcome back to family game night. Now one lucky family is going to get to play Yahtzee. Going to be Rand, Molly, Amber, and John. Oh, here they come. Oh, boy. Wow, look at this guy. And look at her. And look at him. Well, this is a. I tell you what, fastest family we've had in a long time. This is great. How you doing? Good. Good. Where are y'all from? What part Alabama. of Alabama? Alabama. All right. Time to play Yahtzee, guys. The object of the game is to roll the same number on each of five different dice in three rolls or less. All right? If you do that, the entire audience yells, Yahtzee! If you can roll a Yahtzee, you're going to win the game, and you're going to win a game room, which we'll tell you about in just a little bit. But it's not always easy to roll a Yahtzee. It happens sometimes, but you can make it easier on yourself if you can answer this question. Here it is. Which of these people existed in real life. Let's take a look at what I have right up here. The first is Dr. Seuss. Then we have Johnny Appleseed. Next, Tarzan. Right over here, we have Betty Crocker. Then, Geronimo. And finally, Sherlock Holmes. Three of these people actually existed, three did not. For each correct answer you get, one of the sides of each of the dice you roll will change from a number to the word wild. If a die lands on wild, you can use it for any number you want. Who's going to go first? Molly. All right. Choose any one of these folks that you think actually existed. You're going to go with Dr. Seuss, huh? Okay. You can head right back over there by your fantastic family. All right. How about you, Rand? Betty Crocker? All right, one more. Amber, Johnny Appleseed, Tarzan, Geronimo, or Sherlock Holmes? Okay. 
It's always a good sign when the audience approves of each and every selection you make. All right, let's see how many you have right. Let's see if Dr. Seuss is a correct answer. Did Dr. Seuss actually exist? Yes, he did. That's one. Good. Move over. Did Betty Crocker exist? No. No Betty Crocker. All right, one more opportunity. Geronimo. Did Geronimo actually exist? Yes! The other correct answer was Johnny Appleseed. Johnny Appleseed. You got two correct. Come on up here. Each dice will have two wild sides on it. Pretty good. That pleases me greatly. Let's take a look at the dice right now. There they are. Ooh. I know. You got two correct answers. We're going to change two sides to wilds. We'll start with the ones. Let's say goodbye to all of those ones. Turn them into wilds. There they go. Now the twos. We're going to get rid of your twos. Turn them into wilds. There they go. Roll those dice right up there. And who's going to go first here? Is it going to be Rand? All right. Rand, when you're ready, I want you to hit this plunker and just yell, stop! All right? Good luck. All right, you got a five. Stop. A four. Next one, Rand. Stop. A wild. There you go. You got two fives or two fours, whatever your pleasure. Here comes the next one. Stop. A six. One more. Stop. Another wild. Okay. All right. You guys talk amongst yourselves, and then when you've decided, Rand and I are going to go down there and keep some. All right, what you guys decide? Uh, we're going to keep the five and the two wilds. The five and the two wilds. Come on down here with me. Okay. Now, I'm going to show you how we keep these dice. This is pretty cool, all right? Ready? Here we go. See that? Look at that. Fancy, huh? All right. Now it's your turn. Scoot right on over here. Here we go. Look at that. One more down there. I'll let you do this one. Look, he's all grown up, doing it all by himself. Look at that, huh? Oh, I'm so proud of him. All right, Rand. Okay, so we're looking for a five or a wild. Are you rolling next here, Molly? All right, let's roll the dice, please. We need five or a wild. Hit that and yell, stop. 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 There's a wild. Give me a five or a wild. Stop. For the win. Oh. Four. All right. So you got to decide now. If, if you keep that wild, you've got four fives, and we only need one more. Is that what you want to do? Okay, come on down here. It's that one right above you. Give me a clap and point at it. That's it. Good job. Come on back. All right. This one right here, we need a five or a wild. You ready, Big John? The pressure. The pressure. Let's roll the dice for the win. Final roll. Final roll. Ah. Six. All right, but you guys did great. You played well. You had fun. That's the main thing. That Yahtzee boy, sometimes the dice are on your side, sometimes they're not. I'm going to give you $100 just for hanging out with us. Ram, Molly, join me right up here, won't you? I'm going to pull a combination, let you two decide whichever one you want, and hopefully it's the one that opens that chest later on. Rand, you want to help her out? There you go, bud. Let's see what you have here. Orange, blue, and yellow. Orange, blue, and yellow. Hold on to it to the end of the show, okay? Great job. Thank you, Rand. Thank you, Molly. Time for a short, short break. We'll be right back. That, I promise you. And when we come back, Monopoly Remix. Stay where you are. Welcome back to Family Game Night. Sorry. I was just looking around. Sometimes I just look around when I know I need one family to play Monopoly Remix. And the family is going to be... Celine, Jeshua, and Jacqueline. Celine, Jeshua, and Jacqueline. Okay. Right on up here. How are you, Celine? Pleasure. How you doing, Jeshua? How are you, Jacqueline? All right. 
Joshua, come on over here by me. And uh, if you guys would uh, take your positions behind your red hotels here, it's time to play, watch this, Monopoly Remix. Okay. Now, right back here, behind here. How, you, how are you with money? You all right? Yes. Good. All right. I'm going to give you $1,000 in Monopoly money. $1,000 there, all right? At the end of the game, if you have any money left in your hand, we'll turn it into real cash. And on top of the real cash that we give you, you'll win this, Andrew. Todd, it's a trampoline. The Jump Sport 14-foot stage bounce trampoline with a 360-degree enclosure engineered for safety and exclusive Pro Flex basketball hoop from Jump Sport Trampoline. And it's an electric scooter. The Razor Trike E2 combines electric power with two cambering platforms for a unique lean to steer carbon motion. It's a way to put some zip in your ride. And it's table tennis. From Brunswick, the Smash 5.0 stands out both in appearance and performance, featuring a handsome blue playing surface, a sturdy undercarriage and caster system for strength and mobility, fold-up capability, and more. All right. Please, Jacqueline, we're going to show you Boardwalk and Park Place. There's Boardwalk, there is Park Place. Your job is to place your giant hotels on those properties. Now, we also have a couple of other spaces up there. We have luxury tax and we have income tax. If you place your hotels there, guess what? You're going to have to pay me. All right? Now, I... I don't want to take your money. In a moment, we're going to turn over the spaces. We're going to mix them around. You guys need to keep track of them. You guys ready? Yes. Let's cover them up. There they go. All right, let's start that remix. All right, Celine, you go first. Place your property. Put it on the number. Oh, all right, your turn, Jack. That's it, perfect. Come on back here with me. Okay, let's start with space number two. We want it to be boardwalk or park place. Space number two is boardwalk. Very nice. All right. Space number four, we want it to be park place. Can we look at number four? Look at that. Good, good, good. All right, you made it through that round. Just, we still have all $1,000 here, right? All of it. Hugging his chest. All right, ladies, you can retrieve your hotels, please. We're going to make this round a little tougher. This one is going to be a little tougher. We're putting five spaces up there. Boardwalk and Park Place are still there. There they are. Uh, the fines now go up to $400. And we've added another penalty space, street repair. Take a good look at them. Let's turn them over. And let's remix. All right, who's cross-eyed? Okay. All right, go ahead, Jacqueline. Celine? Okay. All right, the hotels are built. Let's see how you did. We'll start with space. What's the matter? Yeah, you're not feeling so good about this one? No. Okay. Space number two. Let's turn it over. Oh, 400. One, two, three, four. <laughs> All right. Now we're going to look at space number four. We got $600. Space number four is... Park Play. Okay. All right. We'll show you the rest of the board. There it is. All right, grab your hotels, ladies. At the end of that round, we still have $600 left. This round, there are six spaces, as you can see. Boardwalk and Park Place are still there. The fines go up from $400 to $500, and we're adding this bankrupt. All right, let's turn them over, please. And let's remix.
Okay. Celine, you're first. Nice. Now Jacqueline. Okay. All right. Time to take a look, see. Space number two, be Boardwalker Park Place, please. Space number two is... Park Place. All right. All right. Now, down to space number five. We want it to be Boardwalk. Anything but bankrupt. Number five... You got six hundred dollars left. Yes. Is that right? Six. Yeah. Count it all there. You got six hundred dollars left. We're gonna turn that into real money, and you've got the sports package. Come on up here. You two decide among yourselves which of these combinations you're gonna choose. Right up there, Joshua. Go ahead, Celine. All right. Joshua is not letting go of that money. What do we have? Red, yellow, and green. Red, yellow, green. That's why you held on to the money, you hold on to that for me, okay? You guys did a great job. Congratulations. Now we're going to pick two families who are going to play Jenga. Who's it going to be? Two of you. I do believe joining me on the stage is going to be Gavin, Heidi, and Joe. Gavin, Heidi, and Joe. And you're going to be facing off again. Mason, Becky, and Tim. Mesa, Becky, and Tim. These two families are going to face off when we come back. Yes! Welcome back to Family Game Night. I know it's Gavin's and Mason's families. They're all set to play Jenga. And right over there is the giant Jenga tower. All you got to do is not be the one that knocks the tower over. If you avoid knocking the tower over, you're going to win the game and an ultimate thrills package. <laughs> now, here is how we play. Heidi and Becky, if you'll join me over here, the rest of the families, take your positions, please. Okay, right here is the mini Jenga tower. You see that I'm going to place these numbers into our mini Jenga tower. We have two ones. We have two twos. We go and we have two threes each family gets two minutes you don't want the threes no, no. each family gets <laughs> two minutes on the clock as soon as i say the word go the clock is going to start you'll need to move quickly from your home base over to pull out a block from the tower then come back to your home base hand it to the dads who will then stack that block on top of the tower and run back to home base okay Keep going back and forth like that until you've stacked the last required block. After you've stacked that last block, make sure you come back and hit the black button. That is how you stop the clock, all right? If time runs out or you knock the tower over, this game is over. And I believe, Heidi, you are going to go first. The number you pull is how many blocks you have to retrieve. Are you ready? Okay. Reach on in there. All right, you pull out a one. You got a one. You guys ready? Two minutes on your clock. Yep. Okay. On your mark. Get set. Go. There you go. Put it on the top. There you go. And pull it. Yeah, all right. It's in there. I'm going to see you get one. And you got one. All right. Here we go, Mason. On your mark. Get set. Go. Gotta hustle. Every second counts. Every second counts. Hit that button. Okay. One minute, 49 seconds for you guys. 146 left on the clock for you. We're back over to Gavin and Joe. Now that you've each had a turn, we're going to make it a little more interesting for you by dropping in a zero. Yeah. You want to get a zero. Heidi, your turn. You have a three. Oh. All right, we can do it. All right. 
Right over here, guys. You need three blocks. On your mark. Get set. Go! Come on. Looking for three. All right. Up top. That completes one row. Two more blocks to go, guys. Looking for a loose one. Good strategy. Less than a minute and a half left. He's got one. All right, one more block, guys. What was that? One minute, 10 seconds remaining. Stay in the home base. on your clock. But guys, I got to remind you, make sure you tag before you leave home base. You jumped the gun a little bit, so we have to hit you with a five-second penalty on that, all right? So that takes you down to 55.7. Let's okay. mix these up. Okay. When you're ready, Becky. Zero. 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 They want that zero. 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 And you pulled out one. Okay. Okay. One. one. All right, you got one. Got one. All right, Mason, here we go. On your mark, get set, go. Go, Mayo. No, Mayo. No, Mayo. No, May. Good one. Good one. Right on top it goes. Hit the black button. Good. A minute 32 left on the clock. All right. Mix them up again. Heidi, reach on in there. Zero. Zero. We need zero. And you got another three. Another three. I'm making them work for it. All right, Gavin. Good luck to you, buddy. Artie Mark, get set. Go. Good one. Good. Starting a new row up top. Dad's having to reach up. There you go. Good weight. They don't want to get hit with another one of those five-second penalties. Gavin's doing great at finding those spots. 36 seconds remaining. Need one more block. One more. Oh. That's 25 seconds. There you go. All right, hit that button. 16.5 seconds left on the clock. All right. Okay, all right, when you're ready. Zero, please, come on. And we got another one. Another one. All right, Mason, on your mark. Get set, go. Careful, Mason. Mason, Mason. Mason, up here. Mason, up here. In the middle. Seconds are taken away. Less than a minute, way up top, and all right, down to 55.6 seconds. All right. Don't you look. Don't you look. You're right in the middle with a two. All right. Gavin, all about the hustle here, bud. All about the hustle. On your mark, get set, go. 15 seconds. Seven, seven, seven. Down to 10 seven. seconds. Nothing's coming loose. This could be it. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and there goes the power. Mason's family, you guys win. Jenga! Nicely done. And that means you have also won this. You won tickets to not very far with dozens of rides, shows, and attractions, including three new family rides and expanded boardwalk area. Not Very Farm has it all when it comes to thrills and family fun. There are more thrills ahead with a go-kart racing party. K1 Speed is a revolution in indoor karting with its award-winning centers, European-style racing, and professionally designed racetracks. Nice ultimate thrills package there. Nicely done, guys. You guys played a great game. I tell you what, Gavin, just for being here, there's $100 Whoa! for you. Okay, Gavin, Mason, come on up here. Each of you guys will choose one of the remaining four combinations. Mason, you get to go first, right up there. 
Which one will Mason choose? All right, let's see what you got. You got yellow, red, and green. There you go. Gavin. Gavin has blue, green, and orange. Feel good about that one. Right, you just hold on to that. All right? A little bit longer. If that's the winning code, we're going to play the crazy cash game. But now we're going to take a short break. Get your mind ready for Battleship because it's coming up next on Family Game Night. Welcome back to Family Game Night. Two families who are going to play Battleship. Two. Two. First one's going to be Casey and Barbara. Casey and Barbara. I need a family to play against you. Megan and Mora. Megan and Mora. Hi, Casey. What a pleasure. I'm excited, too. Hi, Megan. Nice to meet you. And is it Mora? Yeah. Mora, what a pleasure. Thank you guys for being here. Step right up there behind your podiums. Oh, lovely, lovely families. Are you ready to face the high seas with me, ladies? We're going to hide a fleet of six ships on our battleship grid right here. Now, three of our ships are cruisers. They each stretch over two squares. Two of them are going to be submarines. They stretch over three squares. And we have just one battleship, which stretches over four squares. All right, let's cover our grid. Say goodbye to the ships. Your job is to find them. You want to be the first family to sink three ships. That's the family that wins. All right, let's play battleship. Casey's family, you are up first. Which one do you want to aim for? Uh, C3. C3. Let's go C3. All right. We're going to lock in C3. Audience, let's count it down. Three, two, two one. one. There you go. And C3 right in the middle. No. That's a miss. All right. Ladies, over to you. Talk out loud. That's all right. What do you see? E2. 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 We're going to lock that in. Here we go. Three. Two. Launch it. All right. And E2 is a hit. You got one. Blue. There it goes. Casey, I'm going to give you a chance to tie it up. All right. Tell me which one you want. C1. Right. C1. Three, two, one. Launch it. And here comes C1. You tied it up. All right, you guys can jump ahead. Megan and Mora, which one are we going to go with? A5. A5. Let's go A5 up in the corner. A5. Three, two, one. Launch it. A5 is a miss. Chance for you to jump into the lead, Barbara and Casey. D4. Let's do D4. 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 All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Launch. And another hit. Holy cow. Woo. One more. You guys win the game, but you can catch up right here. Tie it up. We've got three ships remaining on the board, ladies. Which one looks good? A3. A3. All right. A3 it is. We're going to lock it in for you. Three, two, two, one. Launch it. A3 is one that ties it up. You got two. You got two. Next, Duncan Ship wins this game. Casey and Barbara, you ready? Yeah, we're ready. I got two ships left up there. E5, maybe. E5. E5. Right by me? Let's see. It's hard for me to tell just by tapping it. If there's a ship there, you guys win the game. Three, two, one. Launch it. Here it comes. And go. Oh. You guys can win it. One more ship up there. Over to you, Megan. Okay. What do you want to do? C5. C5. Okay. C5. If there's a ship under C5, you guys got the game. Here we go. Three, Three two, two, one. Launch it. C5. Oh. oh! Back to you guys. Not many squares remaining. For the win. D2. 
C2. Okay. C2. Good luck. There's a ship there. The game is yours. Three, two, one. Launch it. Here we go. For the win. Oh. No. All right. Back and forth. This is a doozy. D2. D2 right here. All right. D2. It's locked in for the win. Three, two, one. Launch it. And that's it. You won the game. Now let's take a quick look at where the remaining ships were hiding on our board. That was a really good game. Nice sportsmanship there. I like that. Very nice. Thank you guys. And for playing such a great game, you guys win this. Enjoy the outdoors with the Mobo Triton and the Mobo Triton Pro. These ultra-maneuverable three-wheeled cruisers are made for children and adults with adjustable frame, simple steering mechanism, and low center of gravity providing a smooth and comfortable ride. Don't forget your helmet. The Mobo 360 Degrees LED Light Helmet allows riders to cruise in style, providing added safety at night and in other conditions. And for another way to get around, the Rockboard Descender is a new all-terrain board with tank-like tread that provides traction for downhill racing on grassy slopes, pavement, wooded paths, snowy hills, and more. All right, very nice. And you guys played a heck of a game, too. I'm not going to let you leave empty-handed. I know I got something for you in here somewhere. Oh, here it is, a $100 bill, maybe. Is that all right? Casey, Megan, I've got two combinations left right up here. Would you ladies join me upstage? I am going to let each of you grab one. Megan, you're going to go first. And then Casey, the one that is left will belong to you. Which one will Megan choose? All right. I see that Megan has selected blue, yellow, red. Blue, yellow, red. That is yours. Right down there you go. All right, Casey. And Casey, the one that's left for you is blue, red, yellow. Blue, red, yellow. That one's for you. Excellent job. Thank you, girls. If one of those codes unlocks that community chest, I tell you what, that family's going to go to the crazy cash game and play for a brand new car. You're probably going to want to know which family it is. We're going to find out right after this. Hey, welcome back to Family Game Nights. When I stand next to Mr. Monopoly, you know the goodness is about to happen because one of these families is holding the secret combination that's going to unlock our community chest, thus moving that family up to the big stage to play our crazy cash game where they are guaranteed to win some real money and maybe even a new car. They all want that. Kayla and Mario, you're first. Let me step right over here. Kayla, when you're ready. Put it right in there. You have blue, orange, green. Put it right in there. Okay. And blue, orange, green. Hit that red button when you're ready. Oh, no, I'm sorry. But thank you guys for being here. It was a pleasure meeting you. Thank you so much. Morgan, your turn. What do we have there? We have green, blue, red. You've been holding it all night. Put it right in there. Let's, okay, hit the button. And no. Thank you, guys. We appreciate you being here. Take care. Molly and Rand. Orange, blue, yellow is your combination. Orange, blue, yellow is locked in. Hit the button when you're ready. And we're waiting. We're waiting. Oh, thank you, guys. A lot of fun. All right, here comes Jeshua and his sister Celine. Put it right in there. Red, yellow, green is your combination. Hit that button when you're ready. Will it open? No. Thank you, bud. All right, good meeting you. Thank you. Mason, let me see which one you got there. All right, yellow, red, green. Our Jenga chance. And... Oh, thank you. You guys played great, though. All right. 
Only three left. Gavin, Heidi, and Joe. We have we have blue, green, orange. Blue, green, orange. Put it right in there. So again, the great hair that we had in Jenga. All right. Push it when you're ready. Got a hundred dollar bill in your pocket. And you might have it! Nicely done. All right. This is where we get down to business. Guys, right over there, we have four rows of Monopoly Crazy Cash cards. On the top row, I promise you, we have a win card. Pick that, and the brand new car belongs to you. All right? But to get there, you're going to start by selecting one from the bottom row, working your way up. These are all worth money. There are no go-to-jail cards down here, Gavin. Any one you want. Soccer ball. All right. Feeling athletic, huh? All right. Well, he's not playing around. He is focused. Now watch out. The soccer ball is worth $950. All right. We're going to move up to the next row. Yes, we know. Three. Yes. I have not been having good picking luck. Right. You did not have great picking luck in Jenga, but three of these are worth money. One of them is a go-to-jail card. Now, if you don't want to pick, if you're not feeling lucky, anybody can choose. You want me? I'll let him tell me what to do. Okay. Okay, you want the boot. All right, the boot. All right. The boot. Three of them, again, are worth money. Only one go to jail card. That's worth $1,100. Guess whose luck just changed, right? Look at you down there. We're up to $2,050 already. Now, Joe, Joe. In the next row here, if you indeed are the one that's going to choose, two of them are worth cash. Two of them are go to jail cards. All right? Are you choosing here? Yes, sir. Okay. Anyone you want? Let's add to your winning. I gotta go. I gotta go with Gavin. All right. Let's go with the soda. You make it past this row, you play for the car. You got over two thousand dollars already. Put it right in there. Come on, let's add to your winning. And, ah, go to jail car. But listen, $2,050, nothing to scoff at. Plus you picked up 100 playing Jenga, over $2,100. Thank you guys so much for being here. Real pleasure. Thank you. Thank you, Gavin. The surfboard was the win card tonight. I'm Todd Newton, thanking all of our fabulous families here tonight and your family watching at home. We'll see you next time on Family Game Night. Bye-bye, everybody! Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern, 4 Pacific, only on the Hub Network.